The following is a production of Learfield Sports. For the 12th time in 14 years under head coach Bo Ryan, the Badgers have advanced through the round of 64 in the NCAA tournament. On Friday night in Omaha, Nebraska, the Badgers defeated Coastal Carolina 86 to 72. Win number 32 for Wisconsin this season, establishing a program record. We'll hear from some of the Badgers after Friday's game against the Chanticleers, and we'll also sit down with head coach Bo Ryan, talk a few things Badger basketball, including a classic Big Ten tournament a championship game in Chicago last Sunday. All that and more coming up on this week's edition of the Badger Sports Report. Lane against Freeman, up the bouncer left corner. It's back to Hayes, left foul line extended. Hayes being crowded by Freeman, throws it up and got it. He'll get a little continuation. And one for Nigel Hayes. Going to Caney between the circles. Shot clock down to 10. Decker right side, another three. Good again. Sam Decker is feeling it from beyond the arc the right sideline, eight seconds left in the half. Here's Kaminsky for three, right side. Yes, sir, Frank Kaminsky from deep. Three seconds left in the half. Here's Cameron across half court. Takes the left side, the shot's too late, blocked anyway. And the first half comes to an end with the Badgers going into the locker room up by 15. Sideline, throw to Kaminsky, right wing. Kaminsky loops it into Hayes, posting on Wiggins. Size mismatch there, reverse layup, good. Going right to left, Nigel Hayes. Comes to the Caning, they reverse to Duke in left point, 10 on the shot clock. Uye Dukin puts it on the floor to the foul line. Step back jumper is off the rim. No good. Decker the rebound and the put back good. Bounces to Hayes. 450 remaining. Here's Kaminsky. Baseline right. Now inside. Slam dunk. Count it. And a foul. Frank Kaminsky going to work. In the backcourt. Now he gets it across. Lobs a pass to Showalter on the left wing. It's knocked away, but Showy gets around. Gillis goes to the rim. Flips it up and in with the left hand. First points for Zach Showalter. Down the lane. Right hand. Slam dunk, Sam Decker. And that's the record. Frank Kaminsky, 43 points. Nigel up he goes, and he throws it down. Sam's off the three, left of the circle. Book it. High screen, Kaminsky trade right, and left lane line. To the rim, scoops it up and into the right hand. Go Ryan and the Wisconsin Badgers have punched their ticket to Texas. They're going to the final four. The Badger Sports Report with Bo Ryan is brought to you by Charter Communications. By the Dairy Farm Families of Wisconsin, the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board. By Zimbrick Buick GMC. By Adidas. And by UW Health, a cornerstone partner of Wisconsin Athletics. Most people don't know that UW Health and the University of Wisconsin are national leaders in the field of kidney transplant. They provide new life for those who will likely die without a transplant. And they assure normal life for those who donate. I would know I donated a kidney and together we saved a life. UW Health, remarkable. When you have the fastest internet speeds, you can find anything almost instantly, which is a powerful thing. Because sometimes it's not so much what you're looking for, but how fast you can find it that makes all the difference. Get the most advanced fiber network. Charter Spectrum, where will it take you? The pride that it takes to run a farm how you maintain your land, how you maintain your farm, how you do all those things. It's obviously a huge component of our state. It's funny, whenever you're out in different areas of the country, everybody will say it's all cheese, milk, dairy. That's kind of what people associate Wisconsin with. And we take great pride in being the dairy state and being a big producer for the rest of our country and for the products that we produce. Introducing the starting lineup at Zimbrick GMC. Whether you use your truck for work or play, GMC's full line of trucks, crossovers, and SUVs will handle it with style. Built with your comfort in mind and all the power you'll need to get the job done right. No matter what the season, you'll always get a great deal at Zimbrick GMC. Zimbrick GMC is a proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. 
Visit Zimbrick GMC today. Drives left in the lane, goes to the rim, layup way too strong, no good. Kaminsky the rebound. And here comes Koenig up the middle of the front court, bounces to the line, down the lane, to the rim, low on the left, layup, good. Koenig on the attack, ES5, 58-42, Wisconsin with 12.40 to play. Nigel holding, leaves it for Dukin, snaps off the three, right of the circle, bangs off the back rim, no good. Kaminsky the rebound, thing to roll up and in. Easy money again for Kaminsky, and it's 72-54, Wisconsin with 5.13 to play. If you look at it from an offensive standpoint, we had a very good game. You know, we moved the ball well, found some easy open bot shots. Uh, we were able to knock them down. On the defensive end, we got to play well for 40 minutes. We can't have lapses like we did in that game. Defensively, uh, we, we needed to do a better job of just maintaining our maintaining the solidarity throughout the game. I think. Uh, originally at the start of the game we did a good job and then we had some lackluster moments where we kind of let them back into the game. We just expected more of ourselves with some, with some stuff and um, you know this type of thing happens once in a while. Uh, they came in with a lot of energy and, and gave it to us right away and um, you know we didn't respond as well as we'd like to but you know that's why we have another game to play when t tomorrow's another day the sun's going to come up and uh, we'll get better on the practice floor and then go out and hopefully get a win on Sunday. You can't get too caught up in stuff so we came in here expecting to win tonight and now it's we're, we're starting to kind of focus on Oregon pretty quick here so um, you know we're, we're definitely happy but at the same time we know we, we made a lot of mistakes we had to clean up and, and it's more about what's next as opposed to what just happened. We know Oregon's going to go out there and shoot the ball a lot. Um, we got to be able to um, lock up their shooters, you know, stop them from getting buckets, um, you know, really make them work for their offense. You know, we were able to do that at points tonight, but at other points, you know, we just let them roam around and hit open shots. So, um, you know, we know Oregon's good and we know it's going to take a lot to beat them. So we're going to have to go and really pay attention to the scouting report and do whatever we can to beat them. Gosser to the line, Gosser in the lane, a feed to Decker, low on the left, up with the shot, no good, tip by Hayes, falls off the rim, no, and then back up and in, Nigel Hayes. When Nigel can be active like that, that provides a huge, another dimension for us, you, you know, it creates other possessions for us, uh, whether that's we can we can work the shot clock or he can just score inside right away where he gets the ball, uh, but he did a great job, he was so active and full of energy tonight. He really inspired us, and you know, I told him that, um, if he keeps working hard like that the whole tournament, there's nobody that can beat us, and we have Nigel playing like that, you know, offensively and defensively. Um, we're a very good team, um, so you know, hopefully you can keep that up going forward. It's 2050. I'm one of nine billion people on the planet. Like most, I live in the city. Our air and water are clean, and there's plenty of fresh food for everyone. My parents are getting old, but staying healthy. Good thing, because my kids will probably live to be 100. Can you imagine? The University of Wisconsin-Madison preparing minds to meet the challenges of the future before they become the challenges of today. Keep on, Wisconsin. Keep on. No doubt you're getting your fill of NCAA tournament basketball news, but as you can tell from where we are here, we're back in Madison. This is the general topic portion of the Badgers Sports Report. And, and one thing, Bo, that I found a, a, a little bit different from the other two Big Ten tournament championships that you won, it just seems to me that in the previous two, the, the focus shifted right away to the tournament bracket, the NCAA tournament bracket. And while that certainly wasn't ignored after the game on Sunday, uh, people are still talking about that game against Michigan State. You guys in Michigan State have had some great, great games. And this one may have topped it. That was pretty good, pretty good stuff for, for fans to watch. Yeah, and our guys got a chance to take in the uh, ambiance of the the confetti coming down, the <laughs> cutting down the nets, and enjoying the moment. I, I, there's no question, I think, compared to the other two, um, I mean, obviously, getting the championship is pretty sweet. But I think you know, sometimes you don't stop to smell the roses, but I think our guys got a pretty good sniff of the roses and uh, how nice that felt to, to survive that game and all three games. We were behind in all three of those games in the second half and still ended up coming out on the left-hand side. Always marvel at the endurance that, that your guys show in, in when you play three games in three days. And in particular, you did it in Atlantis. You do it in the preseason tournaments. But here, everybody knows each other. And maybe there's a tweak here and there, but the, the surprises are probably few and far between. But your guys just, they find a way. They dig deep, don't they? Yeah, it was just toe-to-toe. -to -toe and... Uh, all, all three of those teams, uh, maybe not Michigan as much, but the other two are all physical teams that really get into you with Purdue and Michigan State. So 
the fact that we had very limited turnovers, got good shots each time down, uh, the consistency paid off for sure. We've talked throughout the season of guys coming off the bench, and you know, we look at a box score, we look at the minutes played from your starting five and all of that, but you know, Duye Dukin in Chicago, Vito Brown against Purdue, uh, Zach Showalter in a couple of the, the ball games as well. Those guys, when they were on the floor, they, it was, you know, don't count your minutes, make your minutes count. It seemed like they, they did a pretty good job of that. Yeah, they did, because uh, all the contributions were needed. Uh, there was a spark from uh, all three of those guys at different times, and um, Duye took a charge. Uh, he got a tie-up. You know, he went in and uh, was able to tie up an offensive player. Um, so, you know, all those things, you know, coaches see them. Um, mm -hmm. Sometimes I, I, maybe all the fans don't appreciate the little things as much as we do. But, uh, yeah, they, they all made contributions, and they were all needed. Well, it's, it's a great point because I, and I'm guilty of the same thing. I look at a box score, and I look at bench points. But it's other things, as you pointed out. And, and Showy, you see it every day in practice, but when Zach, the bounce that he has, is he listed at 6'2", something yeah, like that? Yeah. Plays, plays a little bigger than that at times, though, doesn't he? Well, he does, and he brings the energy. And he's, uh, he, there's not a rebound that he doesn't think uh, shouldn't be his. And, he sticks his face in there. He tried to take a couple charges um, also. And if there's a loose ball, you better look out because he's going to, you know, he'll dive 15, 20 feet and skid across the floor to get a ball. Um, so, yeah, it, it's all positive stuff, positive energy that these guys bring. We can look at big shots, not just this season, not just last weekend, but in the last 14 years, your time here. I'm not sure, though, that there's a play that epitomizes what, Wisconsin basketball, the heart and soul, all about better than Josh Gosser's play in the final minute of regulation against Michigan State. You talk about total disregard for his well-being. He was going to do he, whatever. Whatever he had to do to get that ball and put it back in play um, because it would have been Michigan State's ball. So he, um, he made the save of the day. Uh, now, they might have pointed out that his foot was – a little bit on the line, but it was by that time, I think people were in such awe of his effort um, that we just went on to the free throws and Bronson made his two free throws and uh, we get the tie and then uh, hold them off on their last, last possession and managed to get it done in overtime. But that was one heck of a play. This is the 17th consecutive year the Wisconsin Badgers have been in the NCAA tournament. 17 straight. I want to underline that. And if we can, that's there are a lot of really high-profile teams that don't have that stretch. Can you give yourself 30 seconds to say, hey, that's, that's pretty good, before you worry about next? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you, when this time of the year comes around, you hear that mentioned, and, you know, you're right. We're busy getting ready for Coastal Carolina. So um, it's, it is phenomenal, considering how many times uh, – the Badgers have had a chance to have their student athletes play in an NCAA tournament. There, there, there weren't a whole lot, um, you know. It, it, plus, there were fewer teams. It, it isn't just that maybe there weren't some teams good enough, but the numbers, you know, from the 70s into the 80s, 90s, and how many they added. Um, but it's still tough to make the NCAA tournament. There's a lot more Division One teams now than there were back in the 70s, and uh, so yeah, I think people. Uh, here at the university, they, they appreciate it, the fans, uh, the, the people understand that enjoy it because you never know, you know, when that season comes that uh, things just don't fall in place. Yeah, tremendous consistency on the part of the Wisconsin Badgers. Also, a couple more trophies here in case you haven't noticed. Regular season and Big Ten Tournament champions, the Wisconsin Badgers. Coach Ryan returns in a few minutes with a great day and great question of the week. Stay with us. It's funny how seeing a clearer picture can lead you to see the bigger one. Get the most HD channels and the fastest internet on the most advanced fiber network. Charter Spectrum, where will it take you? Some call it a miracle. Others call it science. But for those who've needed a kidney transplant like Kelly Crager, they simply call it a new lease on life. 
For nearly five decades, UW Health and the University of Wisconsin have been national leaders in the field of kidney transplant, providing a new life for recipients and assuring a normal life for living donors. Miracle? Science? Maybe it's a little bit of both. UW Health. Remarkable. Introducing the starting lineup at Zimbrick GMC. Whether you use your truck for work or play, GMC's full line of trucks, crossovers, and SUVs will handle it with style. Built with your comfort in mind and all the power you'll need to get the job done right. No matter what the season, you'll always get a great deal at Zimbrick GMC. Zimbrick GMC is a proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. Visit Zimbrick GMC today. Field Sports Directors Cup is the officially sanctioned annual award recognizing all around excellence in men's and women's collegiate competition. NACTA and USA Today co founded this esteemed honor in 1993, still widely recognized as the crowning achievement in college athletics. Go Wisconsin and Michigan from the United Center. Koenig throwing to Hayes. Nigel off the right wing to the rim. Two hand slam dunk. Nigel Hayes. And he floats it back out to Decker. Feeds Koenig. The pass fake seven to shoot. Bronson for three left of the circle. Badgers take the lead. Koenig right of the circle. Gets it to Frank. Backing on Irvin. Double by Albrecht. Throw out Koenig. Three shot straight on. Straight in. Koenig from distance again. Koenig feeds Gosser. Rotates to Duke and another three left side. He hit it. Julie Dukin is second from beyond the arc. Frank bounce pass Dukin. Dukin on the right wing. Rise on Doyle. Dukin in the lane. To the rim. Slam dunk. Julie Dukin. It's on Doyle. Goes up. Too strong. No good. Frank gets the rebound. Lost his balance. But feeds Gosser in the lane. Whips at Kane. Feeds Decker. Open three. Right side. Book. Yes, sir. The Badgers moving on to the semifinal round tomorrow. And the toss in tap will belong to the Boilermakers when we are underway at the United Center in Chicago. Frank on the dribble being chased by Smotherman. They work to Hayes. Now Koenig open for three right of the circle. Good. Well, it wasn't very easy, but it worked. Steps back, feeds Gosser. Bounce pass Hayes. Lines up a three. He'll take it and make it. And this game is tied. Third long ball for Nigel Hayes. Works baseline. Going on the reverse layup. No good. Rebound. Nigel Hayes out to Koenig. Snaps off a three straight on. Badgers take the lead. Bronson Koenig presented by Nigel Hayes. Timeout. Purdue. Thompson to the front court. Right of the lane. Dropped at the house. Not ready for it. Ball's loose. Hayes scoops it up. Feeds Decker down the lane. Two hands. Slam dunk. Sam Decker. Here's Josh Gosser. Baseline left. Takes it out, feeds Hayes, bounce pass to a cutting Kaminsky, easy money, two hands, slam dunk. Frank, the tank. Two in the first half shot, 50% for the floor. Sam Decker driving left to the lane, to the rim, layup, good, it counts, and a foul. Badgers are in Chicago through tomorrow. They will play for the Big Ten Tournament Championship. And the toss and tap controlled by the Badgers. Nigel with 15 on the shot clock, out to Duke and three ball, straight on, good again. Julia Dukin with eight. Here's Decker on the right side. Wheels around Costello, reverse slam dunk. Going right to left, Decker with the punch. Standing on the dribble along the right sideline with seven seconds. Bonds a left hand dribble. Top of the circle with four, with three. Draw kick Kaminsky for three right side. He hit it. Craig Kaminsky at the buzzer. Three competes, Gotcher off the right wing and that's knocked away but right into the hands of Koenig. Shot clock at 10, Koenig against Valentine. Bonds on right side, he'll try a contested three and he drilled it. Wow. To Frank, right of the circle. Frank drives on Dawson, right of the lane, goes to the paint, slam, dunk, and one. Oh, a powerful punch from the Big Ten Player of the Year. Puts it out to Hayes, Hayes takes the three, puts it on the floor, drives to the rim, up, got it, count it, and a foul. Oh, that's a big man move by Nigel Hayes. High screen from Kaminsky to the right side, throws it to Frank, Frank for three, right of the circle, got it. Kaminsky for three, 67-64, Wisconsin. Koenig, left hand dribble, and a step back three, straight on. He is off the back rim, no good. Rebound fought for Gosser, left corner, trying to save, throws it up for grabs. It's gathered by Valentine. He throws it away to Decker with 20 seconds to play. Koenig on the left side. Koenig off the left wing. Koenig to the lane, up no, but a foul. And the pass goes to Costello. He'll feed Gosser, baseline right jumper is off the rim and out, no good. 
and to overtime we go in the Big Ten Championship game. Kaminsky back and out the haze for three right of the circle, good. Well, it didn't matter, the shot clock never reset. And Nigel Hayes drills a triple. Koenig moving left off a of Kaminsky screen, seven to shoot. Koenig left corner, three ball, bucket. Bronson Koenig from distance. The Wisconsin Badgers are Big Ten tournament champions in a Big Ten classic that goes to overtime. The Badgers collect another trophy. Region of the tournament brackets from the NCAA and its corporate champions as we reveal the West region and the number one seed in the West, the Badgers of Wisconsin, over a hard fought victory over Michigan State. They earned their way into the number one seed. <laughs> Everybody's blaming you for that celebration or, or praising you. So, what was the idea behind that? Uh, well, Frank came up with it um, that we all would clap once, sit down and then start cheering on another count. So because I have the most bass, my voice resonates in the room the best. So I said, you know, I'll, I'll do it. This is my role. And uh, I think some guys, they stood up a little slow. I, I think it was because we thought we were going to be going second. We ended up being the fourth team to get picked. So it was like the timing got thrown off. People forgot our roles. And But I mean, it still worked out. You are a role player, and you're willing to accept whatever role is necessary, <laughs> right, on this team? <laughs> That's right, man. Whatever it takes to win, and, uh, we got that done today. We put it on Vito because he's the most clutch that we have, so he'd be able to handle, uh, um, handle that pressure. That was all me. That's a gentleman celebration. Did you know you're going to rub the trophy like that? Yeah. <laughs> well, we had a half. They, they rush us off the court to get in there, and then we sit there for 40 minutes, so you, know, you got a lot of time to think. Introducing the starting lineup at Zimbrick GMC. No matter what the season, you'll always get a great deal at Zimbrick GMC. Get the Zimbrick GMC today and score big savings. Zimbrick GMC is a proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. I'm part of the Zimbrick GMC team, and you should be too. Visit Zimbrick GMC today. When you have the fastest internet speeds, you can find anything almost instantly, which is a powerful thing. Because sometimes it's not so much what you're looking for, but how fast you can find it that makes all the difference. Get the most advanced fiber network. Charter Spectrum, where will it take you? Most people don't know that UW Health and the University of Wisconsin are national leaders in the field of kidney transplant. They provide new life for those who will likely die without a transplant. And they assure a normal life for those who donate. I would know I donated a kidney, and together we saved a life. UW Health, remarkable. Whether you're out there training for a big event or you're just trying to stay in shape, I have a bit of advice. It's important to remember that what happens after the workout is just as important as what happens during the workout. My advice, be sure to refuel with low-fat chocolate milk. It has the perfect mixture of protein, carbs, and electrolytes to help you refuel, rehydrate, and build muscle. In Wisconsin, athletes win with low-fat chocolate milk. And you can too. To learn more, visit winwithchocolatemilk.com. The Badger Sports Report with Bo Ryan is brought to you by Charter Communications. By the Dairy Farm Families of Wisconsin, the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board. By Zimbrick Buick GMC. By Adidas. And by UW Health, a cornerstone partner of Wisconsin Athletics. Time for this week's Great Dane, Great Question of the Week, and we check in with Tony up in Toma, who wants to know, Coach, I've heard you mention Henry Perez-Guerra and Eric Helen. 
members, very important members of your basketball program. Can you tell us a little more about their importance to what you guys do? Well, we've been very fortunate here at Wisconsin. Uh, I, I know in my time, uh, back in the 70s and early 80s, when I was here as an assistant, we had, uh, we had an excellent training staff um, and, and the, the physicians, the doctors. Now, the strength part, the uh, conditioning, wasn't the same as it is now. So when I first came here, uh, Scott Hettenbach, uh, Hettenbach was our uh, strength coach and did a, did a great job. He moved on and then Eric came in and uh, brought his expertise uh, working with the Bulls, working with some really top-notch athletes and also with some guys who were, um, you know, drafted because of their potential. So Eric not only was dealing with the elite people like Michael Jordan, mm -hmm. wasn't a bad player. He was okay. He was and right. also, but some young players that they knew they had to develop, put some strength on, uh, change some diets, do all that. So that's what, uh, that's what E's job is, Eric's job is to work with that part of it, with the strength and conditioning and, and nutrition. And he works hand in hand with Henry and they work with the physicians. And um, it, it's definitely shown with our players that they are in pretty good shape and they've taken pretty good care of themselves. Yeah, it's a, we've said before, we'll say it again, players at the, at the end of the year, especially at, at banquets, whatever the case, always in their list of thank yous make special uh, pay special attention to make sure they thank their athletic trainer in this place in this uh, case henry perez guerra the strength and conditioning coach eric helen tony thanks much for your question a great day with the location up in wausau as well as four in the madison area east side of town downtown fitchburg as well as hilldale that'll do it for us this week join us next week for another installment of the badger sports report thanks for watching Wisconsin Cheese, making good food great. The Learfield Sports Directors Cup is the officially sanctioned annual award recognizing all around excellence in men's and women's collegiate competition. NACTA and USA Today co-founded this esteemed honor in 1993, still widely recognized as the crowning achievement in college athletics. It's 2050. I'm one of nine billion people on the planet. Like most, I live in the city. Our air and water are clean, and there's plenty of fresh food for everyone. My parents are getting old, but staying healthy. Good thing because my kids will probably live to be 100. Can you imagine? The University of Wisconsin-Madison, preparing minds to meet the challenges of the future before they become the challenges of today. Keep on, Wisconsin. Keep on.